Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's dinner. Uh, today I'm going to make two types of fish. Um, I'm going to do fry fish and I'm also going to do steam fish. The fry fish you've seen before but today I'm going to show you the steam fish. So even though I'm doing both you won't see the fried again because you already saw that the Escovitch fried fish. I might just take a picture and show you, but today it's all about the steam fish. So here we have those fishes with the eyes. <laughs> and here are the ingredients. I love jerk seasoning. So if you're not cooking for kids or anyone who needs to eat mild and you want to make it spicy, then go ahead and add, add your jerk seasoning or pickled pepper, you know, stuff like that. And then we have green bell peppers, red and orange. I love colors. We have the browning for the stew fish, adobo, garlic powder, uh, onion, garlic salt. And over here, this is what we're going to have with the steamed fish. I'm going to put some mixed vegetable in there and then I'm going to eat it with tater tots. Not a lot of people eat steamed fish with tater tots. It's either a yam, dumpling, uh, boiled banana, stuff like that. But I love it with the tater tots. So that's what I'm going to eat the steamed fish with. And you will get to see the process of the steamed fish. And I'm going to go ahead and just start prepping everything. And I'll come back in a second. Okay? And here we go for the steam fish. You're gonna hear my nephew in the background. He is home homeschooling. Well, it's homeschooling, but not by me. He's virtual schooling with his teacher, his math teacher. So this is what the fish looks like. It's all cleaned. As you can see, I got rid of the heads. And what we're gonna do now, we're just going to season these fishes. And as I said, for me, I just eyeball stuff. I can't tell you teaspoon, a pinch of this, a pinch of that. Um, I just eyeball it. And when you're doing your cooking, you could do the same eyeball. Or if you That's want, right if you want a, um, approximate measurements, then um, you know you could you could do it on your own. It's your kitchen. It's your food. You're eating it, so you can do whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is some garlic powder. They're shooting at us. Yo, that's Rodin. Rodin at age 20 was one of the world's And then I'm going to do my adobo. Okay, so the garlic powder is going to go in my garlic powder. Okay. Now Again, your seasoning to taste. So you might not be able to taste what it's like now until it starts cooking and everything is incorporated. Then you'll be able to taste and see if you need to add more. And now I'm going to do the garlic salt. Not much, because since I already have the adobo in there. And then I'm going to do the jerk seasoning. And I'm going to do the browning. And that's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it together, mix everything in, incorporate everything, and then we'll go from there. And this is what the seasoned steamed fish look like. So we have the browning, the garlic powder, the garlic sauce the adobo and the jerk seasoning. So we're gonna set this aside, let it soak in, and like I've said in my other videos, I usually wait until the meal is almost cooked, or not almost cooked, when it's cooked basically, and then that's when I put the peppers and onions on top, okay? So now we're going to start the fish. What I like to do is before I add the water in it, not a lot of water to cover it because fish only takes about um, half an hour the most to cook. 
so right now I'm just gonna let it steam in the heat and um, yeah we'll go from there so there goes the fish getting ready and put the cover back on and then over here you see we have our beautiful colors I just love colors love love colors and um, that's where we are So here we go, this is the fish, and what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add water to it, not to cover it, because as I said, this will only take about half an hour to cook. What I wanted to do was to get uh, both sides um, sauteed, if you want, you know, if you wanna call it sauteed, like uh, partially cooked, fried, and then we're gonna put um, the water on it. But it is smelling so good. Okay, so let me go and get the water. And here we go. We just added a little water to the fish. As I said, we don't want to cover it. We just want to add a little water where we could cook one side, flip it over, cook the other side. Because as I said, the, the fish, they don't take long to steam. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're steaming. And... When it comes to the end, that's where I'm going to put my bell peppers in, onions, and the mixed vegetable. But for now, this is what it looks like. I'm going to flip it so the other side can get going. And um, we add everything and then we'll come back. Okay? How beautiful does this look? Oh my gosh. And the smell. So now we're going to come on, um, in the background you're hearing the fish frying and the seasoning for the fish to put on top. Uh, over here, it's already done, we got a batch done. So back to the main dish of the night. So we're going to add the seasoning. Can you see the mixed vegetable? How beautiful is this, people? How beautiful. And then we're just gonna leave it like this. And then we're just gonna have it soak in. And look at that beautiful color. Look at the beautiful color. And this is it. So the next time you'll see it, it will be done. And then later you will see me pair it with the tater tots. Okay, guys? Hi guys, and this is what the steamed fish looks like. It's finished. As you can see, the mixed vegetable with the green peppers and onion. And the gravy is thick enough. So for anyone who wants it with rice or with um, green banana, yam, dumpling, they can have it that way. But I'm going to have mine later with tater tots. And that, I'm going to show you what the final dish looks like. So again, this is the steam fish. The smell is unbelievable. And later, I'll show you the final plate. And this is the finished dish. So the steam fish with mixed vegetable and seasoning and the tater tots. What's so delicious delicious about this dish is that with the tater tots, when it soaks into that gravy, OMG, so good. So bon appetit. Thanks, guys. Remember to like and subscribe and spread the word.